Hey Virgos, welcome to the second half of the November love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So let's just get right into it. Oh, first of all, hi, welcome to Water Baby Tara. <laughs> Hello. Um, anyway, sorry. I, I realized I forgot to say that like for a long time now, like this is Water Baby Tarot videos. Anyway, the intro kind of says that, but whatever. I'm getting off tangent, Virgo. You're making me talk a lot, Mercurial energy. Uh, Virgos, tapping into your energy. So... <laughs> I actually heard that lyric. I forget the name of the song, but I they just kept giving me the one line. Um, I'm gonna fly like an eagle to the sea. I know I know you guys know what song that is. I just forget the name of it. Uh, but they just kept giving me that lyric over and over and over and over for you. Virgos, you are ascending. Like uh, honestly, Virgos, I feel a good chunk of you are coming into an ascension relatively soon here. I feel like it's gonna be more so in December, but I think you're gonna be feeling it almost like prepping yourself or getting prepped, something of that nature, getting prepped or prepping yourself uh, the last half of November here, okay? Some of you, it will just be an awakening, but I do feel heavy ascension energy with that, okay? I do feel a lot of you are also upgrading, hello, uh, whether you're upgrading yourselves, your, you know, your career, your house, your wardrobe, like, I do feel a sense of, like, needing to upgrade, needing to be better, needing to level up, right? Needing to do like the, the next big thing or get to the next big portion chapter of your lives. I did also see a centipede. They showed me a centipede. That's all about image. Like for at least what I was getting from it. That was like all about image. Um, I feel like because you're upgrading and somebody, like I said, will be ascending. Um, even if you've already had an ascension, I, I feel like it's like, it's just going to be another one. Your image will be changing, like your physical image, your physical image will be changing and people will be changing in the way that they view you, Virgo. Now, I was also picking up on a very like, very sad energy, I'll be honest, like I almost like started to cry in the meditative session. I was like, oh, God, no. I was like, <laughs> like no, I don't want to cry yet. Um, and I do feel like it's someone that is watching you go through this and it's almost like they're reminiscing. It's a very reminiscent energy, like very kind of like six of cups, queen of cups, like, you know, someone in that like deep emotional state looking back at the past, right? And just looking at you in that kind of a way as well, kind of like the Virgo they knew was gone. Or and keep in mind, guys, like for those who are new to tarot or new to energy work, these messages can be vice versa. It could be someone um, else around you who's in this energy or someone you're connecting to in this energy. Um, okay, so just keep that in mind. It can, or it could be you, right? It could be you. It's energy. It's fluid. It's not linear. Anyway um but virgo i do feel a uh, physical something physical is changing about you somebody could be losing weight somebody could be losing weight or just like realizing you've lost weight it's like beginning or endings of that realization right there um i think a lot of you will be focusing on your health quite a bit actually in the next couple of months and you are virgos i mean i assume that's why you're watching because you're virgo um but i would check your houses because usually that means something is aspecting either the sixth house yeah, it means something. Uh, yeah, it means something's aspecting or changing or coming in or out of your sixth house. So check your charts. Um, check your charts with that. Anyway, Virgo. Um, so yeah, it feels very positive. It feels very good. Feels very positive. But someone is very sad. Someone's very very sad. Okay. Um, yeah, like the Virgo they knew is gone, or that maybe you, maybe you're actually leaving because you are you are ascending and like even that visual of an eagle an eagle flying to the sea like that's a big travel kind of energy as well you could be moving from someone moving on from someone um it's just this energy of you're going to really good places and you know when you go to something you leave something behind and sometimes that's people and someone's just really missing you okay all right Virgo. So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle Please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. So they showed me this in the meditative session too, but I was like, another food channeling. I'm seeing spaghetti. I don't know. I'm seeing spaghetti. Um, maybe you just really like spaghetti. Just go with spaghetti. So they, I don't know why I feel the need to say it like that. Go with spaghetti. Maybe oh, you might end up eating something that makes you sick. So go go with spaghetti. Go with spaghetti. <laughs> anyway, Virgo. Uh, please import any messages of truth, healing, and love. Whoa, they just, okay. They just showed me an ostrich. <coughs> oh, hold on a second, guys. They just showed me an ostrich here. I don't know. The spiritual meaning behind ostriches but when i think of ostriches they're just like i don't know if that's the proper grammatic way to say that 
you know, they're very fierce animals. They really are. They're so unique. They're so different. They're so aggressive as well. Like, you don't fuck with an ostrich. You definitely don't fuck with an ostrich here. Um, Virgo, I feel like it's like you're coming across as the ostrich. That's interesting. Um, Because ostrich to me is also a very regal energy, a very royal kind of energy. But very aggressive as well. Yeah, very aggressive, very unique, very royal. I feel like this is an, an energy you're stepping into, an energy that you're owning, Virgo. You know, you might have always felt kind of quirky or you might have always felt like you kind of were the oddball in your family or with people, like people just didn't get you. You were just very different and you're kind of owning that because it is a strength. It is a strength for you, Virgo. Please provide me any messages of truth, and love for those who need it for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half. Ooh, of November. I'm seeing a lot of festival energy too. Gathering. Thank you. I just heard gathering. Gathering. Um, I think you're just going to be gathering with a lot of people, Virgo, for the rest of the month. <coughs> oh, there goes the throat chakra. Uh, <coughs> it always happens when I do mercurial signs <coughs> or work with mercurial energy. Um, Virgo, in this gathering, <coughs> oh God. Whatever gatherings you're going to be having will be significant. I'm sh I, th I really just one in particular will be significant where I feel like major conversation and revelations will be happening. Let's see what we have here. Wow. All right. So we have three cards that came out here. Again, this is just the pre-shuffle. Emperor in reverse uh, with the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. Uh, someone could have a Moon and Libra placement, not necessarily. We also have a lot of fire here with Aries and Sag. Um, but this energy, someone is like, oh. Virgo, I don't think this is you. I think this might be, this might be someone you're connecting with. I like, it's just a very unpredictable energy, a very unpredictable energy. And I feel like a decision's been made about an unpredictable energy. But yeah, a decision's been made about an unpredictable energy. Seeing clearly, seeing the situation clearly, knowing what you have to do. Oh, there was another sign that was very similar to this. Um, I think it was Gemini, which would make sense. That's your sister sign. That's your sister sign. Oh, hold on a second. Aye, there it is. Three of swords. <laughs> oh, Libra energy. Yeah, like I said, Virgo, there's this energy of like you're going to amazing places. And I think you might be done with dealing with the unpredictable energy here. And three of swords, it's not exactly a happy, happy time for them. Let's see. Wow. King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. A lot of fire on the board. Again, very unpredictable energy. Very unpredictable energy, very uh, non-committal sort of energy. I'm also getting a lot of um, repressed anger. Getting a lot of repressed anger here. I don't think this person shows it readily. They don't show it readily. But when it gets triggered, it's like... When it gets triggered, it's really explosive here. Please provide me any messages of truth, healing... Mm. Page of Cups. Why do I feel like this is you? I feel like this is you communicating, actually. Communicating from the heart space. I don't feel like it's an offer from them, but I feel like it's you communicating to them from the heart space. Very genuine. One of you could be significantly older or younger. There could be a big age difference here, but again, not necessarily. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. Just very, very genuine communication from the heart space of telling them, like, I don't, I can't deal with it. Yeah, Virgo. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah, I, yeah, you're realizing you need to say something here. You're realizing you need to say something to this energy to no longer deal with this energy. Could also be a boss. Hold on. Ah. Could also be a boss figure. Emperor and King of Wands is usually a boss or a father figure. Very patriarchal. Interesting. Page of Pentacles. Like, oh, yeah, I. Virgo, I think you spent a lot of time examining the situation being stuck i just heard being stuck feeling stuck in the situation but also not able to being stuck. sorry I'm like, where are my words being stuck in the situation um and not able to not think about it i didn't know another grammatically correct way to say that um and you're done with it you're done with it you're realizing you're realizing something has to be said you're realizing something has to be said we do have the world on the bottom starting whole new cycles and travel as well so virgo let's go ahead and get started on your actual reading about 10 minutes in any messages for virgo regarding love for the last half of november any messages for virgo regarding love some of you this is an old issue you have to shed um
some of this is old trauma that you have to shed with a with a patriarchal authority figure excuse me with a patriarchal authority figure yeah something you have to shed for some of you it's just some of you it's baggage and you're just you're owning it and you're speaking your truth and that's helping you ascend level up grow get to better places get to um, a more evolved you any messages for virgo any messages for virgo regarding love for the last half of november now i'm seeing broccoli <laughs> Maybe you just need more veggies, Virgo. <laughs> I love broccoli. I miss it so much. Anyway. Oh, Virgo. So we had four cards that just came out here. Oh, this is interesting. Why can't I pick these up? Okay. We have Queen of Wands in reverse with the Moon, Ace of Wands, and Temperance in reverse. Again, a lot of fire. A lot of freaking fire. You could just be harnessing a lot of fire energy here. Virgo, I feel like this is more your energy with this Queen of Wands. Oh, secrets. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Secret passions. Secret beginnings. <laughs> Virgo, I think you have a secret beginning going on here. That moon in the in the Ace of Wands just screams secret beginning and a very passionate one at that and and impatient, 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 impatient to make it happen, impatient to get there, impatient to like to speak it, <laughs> impatient to speak it. Queen of Wands in reverse. You're not exactly grounded here, Virgo. I feel like this is almost like shadowy energy for you, which is interesting. This is very this is an Aries card, by the way. Aries could also be on fire or water. Um, Someone could have a, a fiery moon placement. Air, strong Aries moon is coming out here. Um, but with this Queen of Wands in reverse, yeah, Virgo, I almost feel like I feel like it's your shadow side. It's it's your ego. It's it's the side that's I feel like almost keeping this from happening or keeping this from coming to light. Why would you want it to not? I don't know why you would be. I don't. I, yeah, Virgo, for whatever reason or another, your ego, your shadow side is, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> the moon like would not get picked up. Um, for whatever reason, your shadow side, your ego is kind of triggered right now in regards to this, like a secret, passionate new beginning here. Something that you're very um, impatient, you really want it. You really want it, but for some reason you're keeping it hidden and your ego is helping you do that. Let's see what else wants to come out here. Keep in mind it can be vice versa. And I do feel like this is what you're actually going to start communicating about. It's no longer going to be a secret. Any messages for Virgo? Oh, we got a Queen of Swords. There we go. Libra energy could also be air or water. I feel like this is you speaking, going from a Queen of Wands in reverse energy, which is someone who's like, you know, again, it's a shadowy energy. And I'm not trying to judge. I'm just the messenger here. Um, but it's someone who's not exactly honest, someone who kind of wears a mask a little bit. And that's what the ego is. The ego is a mask, right? It's almost just the mask you're wearing right now as far as like whoever doesn't know about this impatient, restless urge and need for a new passionate beginning. But I feel like you're about to talk about it. You will be talking about it here. Any messages for Virgos? Any messages for Virgos regarding love for the last half of November? Wow, okay. Uh oh, <laughs> we got the three of swords out here again. Three of swords, Libra energy with the queen of pentacles in a verse. This is Cappy. Could also be earth or water. Oh, are you breaking someone's heart? Ah. Um, sorry. I like, that's really how it's coming across. Almost like this communication is just going to like, ow, really hurt someone. But Virgo, if this is what you really want, and with temperance being here, it tells me that there's some divinity here, especially with the way of the two major arcanas. That's a very significant, very, very significant kind of urge, a new beginning you have going on here that you really want, even though you're keeping it to yourself or trying to keep it under wraps here. But I feel like there's going to be communication about this. And I feel like I just I feel someone's going to be getting really hurt in the process. OK, now, don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. Um if it's what you've been wanting and what you've been needing, and again, with this divine angel right there, it's probably necessary, you know? And sometimes sometimes we hurt people under the best of circumstances. Sometimes it's unavoidable, okay? It doesn't make you a monster or anything like that. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa, but overall energy, we do have the Six of Cups. 
very heavy, heavy soul energy. This is a sun in Scorpio. It could be doing with Scorpio, but not necessarily. Um, it's also love. It's love. There's there's love and soul energy driving your reading here, driving your urge for the secret new beginning, and driving the need to communicate about this to somebody. And I I I do think you're gonna be breaking someone's heart. I do. I do. Underneath Six of Cups, we do have Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. This is um wounded warrior and like someone who's like very resilient, but quite the opposite of that, right? Because that's what it is, upright. It's someone who's tired. Really tired. Wanting to give up. Wanting to give up. And it's a nine, so it's completion. To get to the new. Yeah, Virgo. You're hitting a place where you know that something is not serving you. It's not serving your highest good anymore. Okay, something or someone. And it could be someone you've a long past with. It could be someone you've been with for a while or someone who's been in your environment for a long time. It could even be a family member. Six of Cups is very family, childhood, energy oriented here. Um, but you're just, you're tired. You're really tired. You know what you want. And you've been, your ego's been kind of helping you to keep it a secret. But you're about to talk about it. Okay. Like I said, it could just be between you and a family member. It doesn't have to be a romantic interest here. But let's go ahead and break this down. I know, I know. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy reading. Um, I'm really curious about the moon here. Virgo, some of you are dealing with someone who's very intuitive and they already know. With this Queen of Wands and the Moon, Queen of Wands and the Moon is a very intuitive energy when you're right next to each other like that. Very, very heavy intuition here. But let's look at the moon and see what's going on. Um, I'm going to use the Honest Truth deck. Talking about the moon. I'm hearing Cancer. Talking about the moon for Virgo. Talking about the moon for Virgo. Talking about the moon for Virgo. Regarding love for the last half of November. Talking about the moon. Talking about the moon for Virgo. Regarding love for the last half of November. I think your ego took over here, Virgo, um, because you knew it was going to be painful for somebody. You knew it was going to be painful for somebody. And I think you felt really guilty about that. Talking about the moon. Talking about the moon. Uh, ow. Three of swords with the six of cups in a verse. Yeah, this is a lot of pain. Virgo, you've been suffering in silence with this. It's almost like you've been carrying it as a burden. Talking about the moon for Virgo. Talking about the moon for Virgo. Regarding love for the last half of November. Talking about the moon. It, yeah, the situation. Jesus. Yeah, ten of swords. Virgo energy to end this. To end whatever situation you're in right now that's keeping you from this 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 new beginning, this rising, whatever is bringing you to your next level here, it's just holding back on ending something. I'm also getting a bit sense of betrayal. I'm getting a sense of betrayal here too. Tell me about the moon. Depending on how long the history you have here. Oh Jesus! Yeah, ten of pentacles in a verse Virgo energy, ending a long-standing foundation, ending a long-term connection. A long-term situation ending a long-term situation some of you could have had some issues with family like a family betrayal i'm getting a little bit of that a family betrayal tell me about the moon if this is just between you and family if this is between you and family there is definitely a, a big ass family betrayal and you want to break away you want to break away but there's a sense of obligation and responsibility and you're just like well they're my family 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 very virgo like um and finally you're just like this is too fucking painful <laughs> this is too painful i can't get over what happened or what happened you know happened for a reason and i really need to walk away and go towards my highest good and go towards my highest good that's for those in the family scenario talking about the moon for virgo talking about the moon if that's the case i feel like you're breaking a, a, um, a mother's heart if you're if this is between you and a family member it feels like a mother energy they don't have to be your mother they could just like have children but that's how it feels 
Yeah, that's kind of how it feels. Now we have Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Yeah, because you're wanting to get, you're wanting to just get over this. You're wanting to leave this behind. You know, it's funny, Virgo, to you, it's already lost. No, it's not funny, but not funny. That wasn't, that wasn't the right word to use. Um, it's interesting, Virgo, because to you, it's already been lost and you've already worked through the loss. That's how badly you're like, I just need to say it because you've already went through the grieving process, essentially. Wow. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah. It hasn't been working for a long time between you and this family member, you and this love interest. It has, or even a friend, right? It hasn't been working. You already went through the pain of it while still kind of sticking around in it because you already went through that whole process already. On the bottom, we have, yeah, Temperance in reverse, Sag energy, Jesus, Ace of Wands in reverse, delayed beginning here and temperance in reverse says it's really imbalanced virgo that there's no communication about this keep in mind it can be vice versa i'm just a messenger don't shoot me <laughs> okay um it just needs to be karmically balanced out and that's gonna happen by you talking about it okay so let's go ahead to the queen of swords oh why did my belly just get hot um <laughs> oh virgo ah uh, you really don't want to have this talk you really don't want to have this talk. Oh my God. That like, that seriously just like made my stomach go like all, all queasy. Um, you might even get like a nervous stomach. I've been getting that a couple times in readings here with like major conversations happening. So there must be like some major collective, like watching my stuff <laughs> who gets like a nervous stomach in situations like this. Cause I'm like, Oh, that feels really uncomfortable. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and look at the queen of swords. Yeah, let's do the haunted deck. Talk about the Queen of Swords. Talk about the Queen of Swords for Virgo regarding love for the last half of November. Talk about the Queen of Swords for Virgo regarding love for the last half of November. Talk about the Queen of Swords for Virgo regarding love for the last half of November. See here two of pentacles in reverse cappy energy two of pentacles in reverse is making room it's drop it's like dropping an option it's dropping the juggling game it's dropping trying to maintain everything on your plate because it's very imbalanced and it means that you just had too much going on or there was too much taking up space that wasn't serving your highest good and you're making room you're making a choice this is what you're communicating that you're making a choice here you're making a choice to get rid of something or someone. Yeah, talking about Queen of Swords. Hey, jeez. Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Swords in reverse. Libra energy here. You're you're very very exhausted, Virgo. I mean, the the fatigue is like a little ridiculous here. Um, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, that's I'm getting just I'm I'll be honest, Virgo. I'm getting immaturity. I'm getting immaturity here. Um, you could have a child, most definitely. We had a page come out before as well. But I'm, I'm, I really am just getting immaturity. The person that you've been dealing with, Virgo, might be very immature for their age, even if they're older than you, or even if they're your own mother. Like, there, there's something about this person that's just very immature. Or they're very careless. That's what it is. Very careless. It's almost like you've had to be clean. You've had to clean up after them is what I'm getting. Like cleaning up after their messes, cleaning up after their mistakes, like kind of like a child, like kind of like, I'm so sorry for them, like speaking on their behalf, apologizing for their behavior to other people. It's like, it has a little bit of that energy where they've been somewhat immature in their life. And it's just like, you've had to be the mature one, you've had to be the adult, and you're just tired of cleaning up their messes. You're just tired. You're tired in general. You're tired of being held back. You just want more for yourself. You want more for yourself and there's nothing wrong with that virgo and i think you're kind of in the you're exactly picking up on what you need to do because i do feel like once you do this and make this decision have this conversation you're really gonna rise okay you're really gonna rise here again for a lot for some of you i'm getting really for some of you not most of you this is romance for some of you this is definitely between you and a family member tell me about queen of swords Tell me about Queen of Swords. It's almost like you're telling them that they kind of need time alone to grow up. Some of you are going to be telling someone that. 
Tell me about Queen of Swords for Virgo regarding love for the last half of November. We have four more cards that came out here. Oh, five more cards. Oh, and it's a good one. The last one's a good one. So let's see here. Knight of Swords. Okay. Seven of Wands, Leo energy with Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is someone not talking. Okay, this is someone who doesn't want to hear it. Very defensive. Very, very, very defensive energy. Very dramatic energy. Again, this like very immature energy, right? This is someone almost like plugging their ears like, I don't hear what you're saying. I don't hear what you're saying. Very, very immature. Very immature. It's like you're talking, you're talking, they're not listening. They're telling you to stop talking about it. They're trying to change the subject. They walk away. It's like very defensive, very defensive energy. And now we have Hangman, yeah. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water with the Hangman in reverse. It's just like they're, they're so defensive, Virgo, and so immature that you're kind of just like, wow, okay, <laughs> Like, it's almost making your job, I don't mean to laugh, it's almost making your job easier. Because you felt really bad about doing this. I can, I feel it, Virgo. The pain here is very real, okay? And you do feel guilty about doing this, especially because you felt obligated to this person. And Virgo, I know you do not like to walk away from your obligations. But they're so defensive and immature with you that you're just like, hmm. All right, like it just it really helps with the guilt. OK, it really kind of helps with the guilt here. But this tells me that you um, also came out of a period of, of being a little bit of a hermit yourself in which you are the hermit Virgo. Um, but you came out of a period of really thinking hard, long and hard about this, long and hard about this. And it, you know, it just you were enlightened. You became enlightened about what you had to do about it, which is talking about it. Talking about it, telling this person what's what. And on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So I love that this came out here for you, Virgo, especially in communicating because you're basically saying this is what you want. You want stability. You want stability. You want peace. You want reliability. You want predictability in your life. And being in this situation around this person, dealing with this person, having to take care of this person doesn't bring you that. It doesn't bring you that. It also is just indicative that this is happening in your home space between you and a family member or you and a partner or you and a love interest or someone that you've had a very long standing foundation with like a long term friend. Either way, Virgo, this is what you want. And this is what you're going towards. And you have to talk about dropping this person or getting out of the situation, leaving the situation, you could just be leaving your home and having to break the hard news to someone around you who lives there, like a roommate or whatever. Either way, you're going to go, you're going to go and find it. You're going to find it. Overall energy, we do have the hermit, which is Virgo energy. Oh, perfect with the fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius, right? Because it's Uranus. Yeah, this is you taking that leap of faith into the new, which is exactly what you want. It's exactly what you want. Now, like I said, someone's going to be a little heartbroken over here. Yeah, for some, I just feel very mother energy. Like, like they have children. Or a child they don't have to but it's like that's the energy i'm getting specifically those in the family situation or it could be someone you looked at as being very maternal at some point in time either way that's the energy that this person has okay and this person i do feel is getting um heartbroken here but let's look at the three of swords and then we'll start to pull some oracle cards um we'll do gilded so the three of swords for virgo Regarding love for the last half of November. Tell me the three of swords for Virgo. Regarding love for the last half of November. Tell me the three of swords for Virgo. Regarding love for the last half of November. Tell me the three of swords for Virgo. Regarding love for the last half of November. Time of three of swords for Virgo. The moon, Piscean energy. Could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Uh, someone could have a strong moon Libra placement or strong moon Cappy placement here. But yeah, with this heartbreak, it's about the, it's about the secret you kept about wanting to break away, about wanting to have this new beginning for yourself. Time of the Three of Swords. Time of the Three of Swords for Virgo regarding love for the last half of November. Magician in reverse. 
Mercurial, which is you. It's Virgo, Gemini. It's also Aqua and Squirt for me. Also Divine Masculine Energy here. E, Virgo. Eh. I feel like it's more their perception of you, but it, it's almost like hidden trickery. Hidden trickery. That's kind of how they're looking at you, Virgo. Like, oh, you were just tricking me this whole time? Talking about Three of Swords. Talking about Three of Swords. For Virgo regarding love for the last half of November. Page of Cups. I, I feel like you're apologizing. You feel guilty. I can feel it. You feel really bad. You feel really, really bad about this. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're apologizing. And again, the honest communication, right? Communication from the heart space. Honest communication. Communication out of love. Out of honesty. Total honesty here. But they're looking at you like you're a trickster. Okay? They're heartbroken. That's what happens when you're heartbroken, right? Talking about Three of Swords. Talking about Three of Swords for Virgo. Talking about Three of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love for the last half of November. All right, so now we've got, oh, wow, we got five more cards out here. We have Queen of Wands. Aries energy can also be fire or water with that Page of Wands. I feel like, again, taking action into the new. Page of Wands about new ideas, inspiration, creativity, and news about that, movement about that with that Queen of Wands energy. Again, you're very much on the move here. But then we have a Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Could also be Earth or Fire with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurian energy. Virgo. Now. Hmm. Um, just being honest. <laughs> just being honest here, Virgo. Um, so this is definitely you taking that action. Uh, taking that action towards where you need to be and just harnessing the energy of like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta do, I gotta do, I gotta do. Right? Taking, you know, just very fiery, very fiery energy going off into your new adventure here. Now, there we go. So with this Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, I gotta be honest, this feels kind of like someone who's been waiting, okay? I feel like this is you on the move here in your energy. This is Virgo energy uh, to someone who's kind of closed off emotionally, which is really interesting to me, Virgo, because you're quite literally leaving someone here. Right, you're leaving someone, you're having a hard conversation that I need to break away, I need to go towards where I have some secret passion at, I need to go towards stability, predictability, all of that stuff. Whoever it is you're going towards, Virgo, with that seven of pentacles energy, you be they've either been waiting on you or you put them in a state of waiting. Um, uh, but there's a sense of like a pause. There's a pausing energy on the side of this person about what they want to do with their effort, their time, their energy, and what they want to do going forward. But you're meeting them here. You're meeting them. Um, but this person's very emotionally shut off. I can feel it. They're very emotionally shut off, Virgo. Overall energy. Mm. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air underneath that. We have a three of pentacles. Capricorn energy. So building. Building and wanting to work something out here. Now, Virgo, no judgment. The person you're heading towards, it's a true pair. You both are emotionally shut off, though, which I think is really interesting. You're both emotionally shut off, but wanting you're wanting to build with this person. And they've been in a state of waiting, a state of pause, of, of evaluation of their own time, energy, and efforts, and you're meeting them. You're both a closed off though. And Virgo, I think you're closed off because of what you just went through and having this hard conversation with the person that you're leaving behind here. Or again, you could just be moving homes, but you're definitely on the move to make some growth happen in your life and to build with someone here. Okay. But I just think it's interesting. You're both closed off, but you're going to build. I think you both have some reservations with each other. This could definitely be a third party situation because I just, I just looked over at the, at the Gilded deck and on the bottom, we have seven of swords in a verse, two of cups in a verse, and two of swords. Deception, deception around a soulmate, a soulmate connection where a decision had to be made. <sighs> yeah, some of this is third party, most definitely. Where it's like there was a deceptive act, a deceptive act around a soulmate energy, a soulmate connection. Decisions had to be made. This Queen of Swords is making a decision to cut out a Queen of Pentacles and heading right towards a Queen of Cups. Gender doesn't matter. It's just energy, guys. 
And Virgo, you're in this queen of, you're, it's interesting, you're in a queen of swords energy when you communicate this, right, to this queen of pentacles. And then you take on the queen of wands energy to meet a queen of cups in reverse energy. But when you meet this person, you're shut off emotionally. Very curious. How much time do we got? We got 35 minutes in? I kind of want to see what's going on between you and this person here, Virgo. Um, so we're going to pull some cards on that. Let me use Lenormand and deck. And then we'll pull some Oracle cards. Show me what's going on between this Queen of Cups in reverse and this King of Cups in reverse. Show me what's going on. Loyalty with the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Shit. What's going on between this Queen of Cups in reverse and this King of Cups in reverse? Wow. The flowers, energy of nine with the uh, queen of swords, queen of swords energy here. This is a card of gift. It's a card of gift, a gift of loyalty. Yeah, Virgo, you're meeting, oh, Jesus, the card that just came out. You're meeting this person. You want to grow with this person. You want to give the gift of loyalty to build with them. And then the sun is very much like an ace of pentacles energy there. Sun is just how it is in the uh, tarot deck. It's new beginnings. It's abundance. It's joy stability exactly what you've been wanting here yeah virgo you're meeting someone not meeting someone you're like meeting up with someone here and you've been wanting to with that with that moon and the ace of wands you've been wanting to and you've already worked through the energy you've already worked through the grief of getting no jesus that sounds terrible of losing this queen of pentacles you've already worked through that they could be a man they could be a woman doesn't matter it's just the energy they have here okay uh queen of pentacles queen of pentacles reverse is also a very disloyal person as well it can be. So maybe there was an issue between you and this person already of loyalty and like maybe you didn't really respect each other anymore. Either way, Virgo, you've been done with this situation, this person for quite some time, for quite some time. And if it's just a family situation, you could just be um, leaving a family member behind or leaving a home here to go and give your time to someone else or another family member who's more supportive of you. It could just be as simple as that for those in that situation. Um, but yeah, Virgo, this is like, You've already worked through the grief of doing this before you even do it, because that's how, how long it's been needing to end. So you go in and you communicate this, and then once you do, you go and you meet up with this Queen of Cups. Let's see what other cards want to come out. Tell me about what's going on between this King of Cups in reverse and this Queen of Cups in reverse. Tell me what's going on between this King of Cups in reverse and this Queen of Cups in reverse. Oh, shit. No way. Hold up. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being dramatic. We have the lilies with the heart. Uh, that's the king of swords with the knight of cups here. Heart is love. It's love. It's love. Uh, lilies is sex, passion. It's also spirituality and more of that blessing energy here. These are pretty beautiful cards to have, Virgo. I almost called you Libra. Interesting. Um, these are very beautiful cards to have, Virgo. I mean, this is like, this is an abundant beginning, a very spiritual, very passionate, a lot of love here, a lot of love, a lot of blessing energy, and a lot of freaking loyalty. A lot. With the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords, and the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Those are all the, car the tarot cards that are associated with this. I'll repeat that again for those who did not hear me. We have the Ace of Pentacles with the knight of cups <laughs> i can't hold cards today the king and queen of swords in the ten of cups virgo things happen for a reason and cycles end for a reason right and it is unfortunate of what's going on and like i i really hope you didn't cheat if you cheated um, i'm not judging we're all human, shit happens. Try not, you know, all we can do is try to be the best people we can, right? Um, but you're clearly ending something that was no longer serving your highest good, something that I feel like was also inhibiting you and you're about to fly out like an eagle to the sea. Some of you might actually be going to the coast. Oh, that's interesting. Some of you guys might actually be going to the coast, like actually flying, like on a plane. That's interesting. So you guys might actually be doing that. Um, 
it fe it's so interesting. That feels like a west direction. I was going to say, like, because the coast could be anywhere. You could be flying east to the coast. You could be flying south to the coast. North, uh, it feels west. That's, like, such a very, like, west. <laughs> west, Virgo. <laughs> west. <laughs> anyway, uh, Virgos. Oh, that's right. I didn't even pull any advice for you guys. I got so lost in that. By the way, on the bottom of the deck, we do have the compass. 42, bring it down to a 6. So direction, heading in the right direction. Wow. The key, because something's been unlocked. The gates are now open. Gates are now open to go in the right direction. So let's pull some advice, because I totally got sucked into that and forgot. So let's pull some. Any advice for my Virgos? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? 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 Ah, the dog! I just get more of that loyalty energy. Be loyal to what you love, Virgo. Or who? <laughs> or who? Uh, it's also being loyal to yourself and what makes you happy and what's really in your highest good, which is what you're doing too, but your loyalties lie elsewhere. They just do, Virgo. It's very obvious. Your loyalties lie elsewhere. And so maybe so does this Queen of Pentacles because they don't look like they're very loyal either in the position they're in, but they're very heartbroken by this. They are. I can I can see it. I can feel it. Also a cyclical energy with this. So closing cycles, opening new cycles. Like I said, I don't condone cheating. I just condone doing what's in your highest good and respecting people along the way. That's what I condone, okay? Just try to be a good human and do the best you can. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to where your loyalties and your heart lie. Big spirit, use your mind wisely. 47, breaking down to an 11. Be smart about this, Virgo. I'm also getting intuition with this. Intuition's at play. Like I said, Virgo, some of you could already be dealing with a very intuitive person. They might already know that you don't really want to be around anymore, okay? They might already be picking that up. So just be mindful of that. But also, it's just like, have a, have a very rational queen of swords, king of swords conversation with yourself, Virgo. Um about the situation because I think if you just are honest with yourself and maybe try to take emotion out of it, you're you're gonna know exactly what to do here. Go with what makes sense. What makes sense? I'm hearing what makes sense and who makes sense. Oh, that's interesting. And who makes sense? Any other advice for my Virgos? Hi. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. More of that same energy. 29, another 11. Two 11s here. It's more of that same energy of seeing of seeing the situation for what it is. Seeing the situation with clear eyes and what makes sense. They keep telling me what makes sense. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread for the last half of November? Oh. Hold on, guys. What do we got here? Ooh. Starfish spirit. I just heard be open-minded. Open to infinite possibilities, energy of five. So this is a big change, Virgo. It's a big change, and I'm hearing um, how, keep an open mind and have faith. Keep an open mind and have faith. Have faith. It's so cheesy what they just told me. That's so cheesy. Believe in the impossible, Virgo. <laughs> Believe in the impossible. Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? All right, that's it. Oh! You guys know it. My favorite card. It's my favorite card. Otter spirit. You're never alone. 42, breaking down to a six. My two of cups, lovers, six of cups card. Having someone who has your back and loves you just in the way that you love them. Very kindred spirit energy is at play here, which is, I'd say so. <laughs> Where are those damn cards again? I'd say so. I would definitely say so. I wish more people knew like more of the Lenormand deck cards so I wouldn't have to explain too much, but um, yeah, guys, just to go over this again, a new beginning, abundance, joy, blessings, love, love, love. Both of these cards are cards about blessings. This card's about spirituality and sexual uh, passions here as well. And then we have 
loyalty. The tarot cards associated with it, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Ten of Cups here. Pretty damn perfect, I have to say, okay? Um, but yeah, very kindred spirit energy that you're walking towards, Virgo. And something that I, again, I feel like elevating you, elevating you here, um, upgrading you in a way. And I don't feel like upgrading you financial. It really doesn't feel like a financial upgrade. It feels like a spiritual upgrade, something that's really for your highest good, okay? And like I said, I, I feel for this Queen of Pentacles, cycles end for a reason. If you haven't been this happy, if you haven't been happy in this, they most likely haven't been happy either. You know, and it's not fair to stay stuck in a situation for both people because then it keeps two people stuck when two people could go find people that are in their highest good, right? But Virgos, I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Virgos. Namaste.